So last year, dual lens cameras started to become really popular and I can't see how 2023 will be any different. And in this video, I will be comparing all the pan and tilt dual lens cameras that I reviewed last year. So hopefully this video will make it easier for you to decide on what camera and what features you might need. Now all the cameras I will be comparing in this video are what I would consider budget cameras. And they cost somewhere between $40 to $200. So if you have more money to spend, you can probably find better cameras than the ones I will show you in this video. I will list the cameras based on the price, so let's start with the cheapest, which is this Boa Vision Dual Lens PTZ camera. This camera uses a 2.8mm wide-angle lens and a 12mm telephoto lens. The camera records in 2560 by 1440 which is 4 megapixel. Only records one file, so which lens it uses depends on what zoom you use. 1x and 4x zoom gives the best image quality. Everything else is done digitally. Can pan 355 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. Supports auto tracking and can zoom when tracking. Can also set preset points and cruise. It also supports human detection. Supports two-way audio and Onviv, so you can use it with most brands, NVRs or software. And here we have some daytime recordings with a 2.8mm lens at the highest image quality. This is how the auto tracking looks like. And at daytime using preset points. This is at night using infrared. And testing the smart night vision using the spotlights. And some pan and tilt at night. Next up is the Blue Rams Dual Lens Outdoor Light 3 PTZ IP camera. This camera uses a 4mm lens and a 12mm lens. Video resolution is 2304 by 1296 which is 3 megapixel at a maximum of 15 frames per second. 
Same as the BOA vision, the camera will record one file and what lens it uses depends on what zoom is being used. It can pan 320 degrees and tilt 110 degrees. Supports auto tracking but can only pan when tracking. Can also set preset points to quickly move the camera to a new position. Supports human detection as well as two-way audio so you can talk and listen through the camera. And it supports OnViv. Here we have some daytime recordings. This is recorded with the highest image quality at 15 frames per second. This is how the auto tracking looks like. and the zoom. Here I move the camera using preset points. and at night using infrared lights. And at night using the spotlights for full color night vision. Next camera is the Isevis C8PF dual lens camera. This camera comes with a 2.8mm wide angle lens and a 12mm telephoto lens. Records in 1080p at 15 frames per second. This camera records with both lenses at the same time, so you will have two different recordings, one from the 2.8mm lens and one from the 12mm lens. It can pan 330 degrees and tilt 80 degrees. This camera does not support auto tracking, preset points or patrol. It supports human detection as well as two-way audio. It does not support OnViv. And here we have some daytime recordings with the highest image quality at 15 frames per second. This is how the pan and tilt looks like. And night time.
And this is how the zoom looks like at night. And last but not least, we got the most expensive camera on the list, which is the Reolink Track Mix. This camera uses a 2.8mm wide-angle lens and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens. So what's unique with this camera compared to the other cameras on the list is that the Track Mix has two different tracking options. It can track just like a normal auto-tracking camera by pan and tilt when tracking the object. And the wide-angle lens will capture a panoramic view, while the telephoto lens a more zoomed-in view of the tracked object. The second tracking option, the camera will stay in position, while the telephoto lens will track digitally within the camera's field of view. And the camera also supports 32 preset points. It can pan 355 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. Supports person detection, vehicle detection and pet detection. Supports two-way audio. Also supports Anvif. Here we have some daytime recordings and this is recorded with a 2.8mm lens in 4K at 20 frames per second with audio turned on. And same recordings with the both lenses side by side. Here I test the pan and tilt using preset points. This is at night recorded in 4K at 20 frames per second using infrared light. And at night using the spotlights for full color night vision. And both lenses side by side at night. So let's compare all the camera's image quality using the wide angle lenses. And nighttime comparison as well.
Okay, my friends, so after comparing all these cameras, the camera I think is the best budget dual lens PTZ camera in 2022, and probably in 2023 as well, is the Reolink Track Mix. So that would be my number one. The EasyVis is not a bad camera as well, and when comparing the image quality, it looks like at least at night the EasyVis is the sharpest. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like the video, it helps a lot. See you in the next one.